Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. The day is broadcast. The text of the joint statement of the leaders of Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Russia. Interview with Simon Taronyan, member of parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia. Down in Russian helicopter in Armenia is an attack against both Armenia and Russia. Prime Minister's advisor. The Russian state Duma state sending peacekeepers to Nagorno Karabakh was an extreme measure. Maria Zakharova denies. LEF statement on deployment of Turkish peacekeepers in Karabakh jointly with Russia. The text of the statement that was signed overnight between the Prime Minister of Armenia and the President of Azerbaijan and Russia, the text reads as follows. We, President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Prime Minister of the Republic of Armenia, and President of the Russian Federation announced the following. A full ceasefire is announced in the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone on November 10, 2020. The Republic of Azerbaijan and the Republic of Armenia herein after referred as the parties top at their positions. The Agdam region and the territories held by the Armenian side in the Kazakh region of the Republic of Azerbaijan shall be returned to Azerbaijan until November 20. Along the line of contact of Nagorno-Karabakh and along the Lachin Corridor, a peacekeeping contingent of the Russian Federation is deployed in an amount of 1,960 servicemen with a small arms, 90 armored personnel carriers, 380 units of automobile and special equipment. The peacekeeping contingent of the Russian Federation is being deployed deployed in parallel with the withdrawal of Armenian armed forces. The duration of the stay of the peacekeeping contingent of the Russian Federation is five years, with automatic extension for the next five-year period if none of the parties declare six months before the expiration of the period of intention to terminate the application of this provision, in order to increase the effectiveness of the control over the implementation of the agreements by the parties to the conflict, a peacekeeping center is being deployed to control the ceasefire. The full text is available on our website. In a conversation with the state television of Western Armenia, Simon Taronyan, member of the Parliament of the Republic of Western Armenia, presented the aggressive policy pursued by the general system of the Turkish state. You can watch the full interview on our official YouTube channel. Bagarsha Karutunyan, chief advisor to the Prime Minister of Armenia, assesses the downing of the Russian helicopter in sovereign territory of Armenia, an obvious act of aggression, Harutunyan told Arman Press. The downing of the helicopter of Russian aerospace forces in the sovereign territory of the Republic of Armenia is an obvious aggression and attack against both Armenia and Russia. The Azerbaijani Republic could clearly see that the helicopter was flying in the Armenian territory, posing no danger to them. Despite this fact, they used air defense system and destroyed the helicopter. On the other hand, the destroyed helicopter belonged to the Russian 102nd base, while the attack against the helicopters and aircraft is considered as an attack against the country, in this case Russia, Harutunyan mentioned. The advisor to the Prime Minister says that it's necessary to investigate Turkey's participation in the attack against the helicopter of Armenia's ally Russia, since the helicopter was downed from Nakhijevan, which is under the Turkish influence. Sending Russian peacekeepers to the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict zone was an extreme measure due to the fact that the parties could not agree on a ceasefire. This opinion was expressed by Leonid Kalashnikov, chairman of the State Duma Committee on CIS Affairs, Erosion, Integration and Relations with Compatriots in an interview with TASS. Moscow has denied Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev's statement about the deployment of Turkish peacekeepers in Nagorno-Karabakh together with Russia. The words of the representative of the Russian Foreign Ministry, Maria Zakharova, were broadcast on Echo of Moscow radio station. One important point I would like to draw your attention to is the peacekeeping force. We are talking about the peacekeeping forces of the Russian Federation, Zakharova stressed. She mentioned that we are talking about peacekeepers along the line of the contact in Nagorno-Karabakh. It is also also mentioned that the issue of the status of the region is presented in the joint statement of Russia, Armenia and Azerbaijan, Lantar report. Now let us represent to your attention a song Shatahi Razmabar. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.